Hey there, uh, this video is the first in a series of videos on how to build a dynamic or database driven website using PHP and MySQL. This is a, a, a very rough uh, clothing or retail store and uh, you can see here, please forgive, forgive the poor design, it's more about the, um, the PHP and the MySQL. But anyway, uh, you can see we've got all the different categories here across the top of the page in our navbar and these categories are being pulled down from this database from this category table you can see the five of them there are being displayed across the top and when you click on these each of them takes you to the same page called category but you'll notice that the stock items displayed change depending on which category you're clicking on now each of these are also dynamic links so when I click on one of these stock item links it takes me to the page called item which then displays all of the content on that particular page. Now again I know the formatting is poor but there you go. So this is a fully dynamic front end of the site. So we'll go through how to uh, set up the actual page template itself. We'll talk about how to create these dynamic links in the navbar and um, the category dynamic links and so on. And how to format the text when it comes through. But also we'll have a look at the back end of the site and you can see if we go through the admin section here we have a password protected section so if I get the password, username and password wrong, we are told that, if I successfully log in I uh, get my admin panel and in here we can do things like add into those categories so if I just add in a new dummy category we are asked to confirm it which is also something we'll go over how to do. When we do confirm it you'll notice it is automatically added into the database. Um, I can also edit that category, so if I decide this rubbish should actually have a capital, I can do so. Again, I'm asked to confirm my changes, but again, automatically updated. If we go to our category table, you'll notice it has now entered a new record. Um, I can also delete the category. So I select the one, confirm, very important to confirm before you delete, but it's now gone. Notice it's no longer appearing there. If I go to my database and I rebrowse, it's disappeared. Uh, interestingly enough as well, if I try to delete a category that already has stock items attached to it, it does give me a warning. And if I proceed and delete that, it will remove all the stock items belonging to it as well. Uh, and finally, Obviously you can add stock items, um, so you can just add the name, price and so on. Uh, you can also choose the category you wish them to belong to, That's been that list there has been pulled from the database as well. And um, also I'm using NiceEdit here so that I can um, format this, so I could change, I could put bold and I could change the fonts if I wanted and so on. Um, and so I'll be using that here, you don't, obviously you don't need to, but I quite like that. Uh, and I don't again like I said I don't have any uh, I don't have any images here um, for each item which would probably make a bit more sense on a retail store. Uh, if if people want me to include that just let me know otherwise I can uh, I may add that later on if I get some time. It's just a little more complex but um, yeah I can come back to that. So that's your your basic functionality. Obviously you can edit and delete those items as well um, and obviously log out. So that's the um, the shell, well, the, the the guidelines of what we'll be going over. Um, the first first few uh, tutorials early on will be about putting the uh, the page template together, setting up the database, and um, connecting the the pages to that database, and then we'll start getting into um, doing the front end of it, followed by the back end. So um, there you go.